Punk. Hi everyone and welcome back to our online tutorial. Today we're going to be doing embroidery on any garment that you can use to cover a hole, just customise it, it's your choice but we're just going to show you a stitch today that you can do. So we will just go through the equipment we're going to use uh, for this embroidery workshop. So the first thing is the embroidery silk. Um, now this is especially for embroidery, but for this um, workshop, you could use anything really. You could use wool, um, thick cotton. Uh, we're using the embroidery silk because it's, you know, you can get lots of pretty colors and it's quite shiny. But if you don't want to go to the expense of buying it, you don't have to. Um, we've got a pen where Ellie has just drawn the shape of a leaf. Um, this one is a particular pen that can be um, ironed off with heat, but the embroidery stitches will go over the marking on the jeans. So if you haven't got anything like that, you will cover up your drawing anyway. Um, our snips for trimming and again our large eyed needle. So Ellie's going to start by threading her embroidery silk. Um, now there's six strands of this all together so we're going to use it with all six strands just so that it um, jumps out and shows up nicely. Again, we're going to knot the end. And Ellie will go from the inside of the jeans to keep the knot hidden. Now she's starting at the top point of the leaf. And then a little two mil length stitch. Horizontally down the middle of the leaf. Another two mil stitch. Now this is if you remember, this is very similar stitch to the ones we used to hem our jeans with the top stitch thread. But with this one, Ellie is going just above the end of the stitch, the previous stitch. So she's going in at the bottom point of the stitch and coming out diagonally to the edge of the last stitch she did. Now this stitch is actually called a closed fly stitch. It's very decorative, 
but also quite repetitive again. So once you've got used to doing it, you won't have a problem. So once again, she's going underneath and coming out below the stitch on one side, then going directly across to the other side, doing a long stitch, causing almost a V shape, and then a little stitch to anchor that through the middle up to one side back down to the other side back to the middle and through to anchor that stitch in place because it's quite a big long stitch that little tiny stitch that she does at the end gives you the shape to form the leaf Always following the line of the template that you've used. As your guide. Anchoring that long stitch, coming out one side below the previous stitch and then bringing your silk right across to the other side, stitching into the middle. And as you can see, that's one long stitch. And then that tiny stitch anchors it down to form the shape. It's really a very simple stitch, but it actually does look very, very effective. So anchoring that long stitch, coming out below the previous stitch, it's right along to the other side, same principle, back into the middle, and then anchoring with a tiny stitch, which sets you up to go and start the stitch all over again. And now Ellie's just doing the stalk of the leaf. Which is just one stitch. 
and she'll finish off now. How pretty does that look? So you could do that all the way up the leg of your jeans if you wanted to, with your leaves going in opposite directions. You can use that to cover a hole. Um, it really is a very effective stitch. And if you wanted to get inventive, you could do different shapes as well. 